Oh, and welcome to Glasgow Rangers Nation with me, your host, Owen. Guys, please remember to hit that sub or ring that notification bell and come and join the Glasgow Rangers Nation, Glasgow Rangers Nation channel. It's not easy to say sometimes. Remember, this channel brings you daily Rangers content, daily news, daily updates, bringing you all the latest information. So please remember to hit that sub, ring that notification bell so you don't miss out and give the video a like. Well, Rangers skipper James Tavernier, Tavernier has been speaking to Glasgow media and to Scottish media and he has vowed that there is more positive that's the thing more positive things to come from Rangers in the rest of this season he has in the words of the daily record called upon Rangers to come up with an awesome April um, as they face their old firm rivals twice this month now obviously uh Rangers lost out in the via play league cup final to um the the mob from across the city in disappointing fashion in a, in a performance that never really showed the best of this team. Now with two clashes against Celtic, one of them at Parkhead and one of them at Hampden Park in the semi-final, the pressure is very much on Rangers to produce and to give Celtic that bloody nose to lay down a marker ready for next season. You know what? Only a win really on the 8th of April at Parkhead will do now, I think, to really, you know, say to Celtic, we are not going anywhere. We are not going quietly in tonight. We are going to keep fighting um, in this league, even though we are nine points behind. And we're going to let you know that next season we are going to be a much tougher proposition to go up against. And that is something that we definitely need to do. And also to slow down that uh, title bit of theirs, because let's face it, aren't you fed up of hearing it from them and head fed up of their classless, arrogant way they conduct themselves. Also, the fact that our Scottish Cup ambitions will be on the line at Hampden at the end of the month on the 30th of April, with a strong likelihood, obviously, that Celtic are chasing that treble. We obviously have stand the chance of ending their treble hopes and beating them at Hampden Park on the 30th in the Scottish Cup semi-final in an effort to try and retain the trophy that we won last season. Now, when he was asked about uh, the performance level going into the Celtic game and how uh, Rangers would have to perform, um, Tav said the following. He says, we have to improve because we knew the performance in the final wasn't good enough from our point of view. There is way more to give from us. So, yeah, definitely. So a very much positive statement there from Tav. You know, the, the Rangers are trying to improve. They are seeking to improve what they did in the final. They know the final wasn't good enough. They know the way they performed wasn't right. And they're going to try and put that right over these next two, three games. Obviously, three remaining old firm games. Um, there was a battling display on Saturday against Motherwell, where Rangers had to come from behind. It was the eighth time this season that Michael Beale's team have had to come from behind. We are really turning into a second half team, aren't we, at this moment in time, starting slowly. And that is certainly something that they're going to have to eradicate before they meet Celtic at Hampden Park. But James uh, James took this as a positive and talked about the team's fighting spirit. This is what he had to say. He said, we were level at the break. We definitely owed our resilience owed that to our resilience. I feel that when we go down, that, that it's always still a possibility that we get the result that we want. There's been a few times when we've gone to Fir Park and gone a goal down and I've got the first goal to equalise it. But it's good to show that resilience. We're just happy that we finished the second half better than the first. You need resilience as a foundation, not just this season, but in seasons going forward. We'll need that resilience and character in the team when we play for a massive club like this, if we're going to move forward. And that's something that's going to be absolutely, uh, you know, for Rangers as we move forward into these old firm games um, in the league and also the cup, that, that resilience, that battling spirit and that fight is something that they are really going to need to show if they are going to obviously um, win those two games uh, in this month of April, in particular that Scottish Cup semi-final, which is obviously the biggest one that Rangers want to win. Obviously, Tav got his goal on uh, Saturday. Here the goal, how it is. Beautiful free kick there from Tav. Slightly dodgy goalkeeping from Kelly, but still a good goal from Tav nonetheless. Gets it up and down, and that is he's 98 for the club which is quite remarkable for someone who plays right back to have scored 98 goals tav went on to say the following in the interview that he gave to the daily record he said 
You can go a goal down, but there's loads of belief in this team that if we continue to play the right way, that we will create our chances. We have created a lot of chances this year and we have missed a lot of chances. We know we can score more, but we are creating the chances. So that's positive. It is important that we have a good break and come back where we left off and keep pushing hard until the end of the season. Now, obviously, this echoes what his manager said um, in his press conference before the Motherwell game. He talked about the fact that Rangers were creating lots of chances, that they were taking uh, lots of opportunities, but were missing a lot of chances. And Michael Beale talked about a need for Rangers to be a lot more clinical. And that is certainly going to be true in the game against games against Celtic, where perhaps they are not going to be able to create as quite as many chances as you create against some of those other teams in the league and the cup. But it's right. Tav is spot on when he says this, that, you know, this break has come at a good time now. It's a good chance to really take stock from Michael Beale of what he's done so far, what the little niggles that he needs to move out, move out of the team are, you know, like those slow starts and continue to move this team forward. And it's good that the team have this belief that Tav's talked about. And certainly, you know, Rangers seem to have that fighting spirit and that belief under Michael Beale this season. And they are, even though they are becoming a bit of a second half team, it is encouraging to see them battling and fighting to the very end. So promising words from Tav. Let's hope we can make it that awesome April that Tav talks about. The fact that obviously taking on the great a great soap dodging unwashed mob from across the city we can smash them at least twice this well twice this this uh, month and then for a further time before the end of the season to leave them with a firmly bloodied nose ready for a real challenge next season once the squad is revamped in the summer anyway rangers fans let me know what you think of tab's comments below and remember to hit that sub ring that notification bell and let's keep building this channel up guys especially after that exciting announcement earlier thanks for watching i'll be back to speak to you again really soon here on glasgow rangers nation